All right, guys. Today, I want to show you how you can use ChatGPT to infer understanding or to work on strategy. So I think it was Monday, 9th of September. So yesterday, uh, this newspaper article from The Guardian came out with 15 Australian universities to have the international student cap slashed. And in this article, they've actually given us a table of the proportion of enrollments in 2023, the number they had in 2019, where that went up to in 2023, what the new cap on 2025 is and what the percentage change is. And it's very random, like ANU down 14.5%, uh, Southern Cross Uni up 38%, US New South Wales down 14, Notre Dame up 140. So it appears that they're trying to transfer students into different parts of the sector. Um, but you don't know why. Like what are they what are they trying to achieve here and why have these caps been added? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab this list. Now, let's do it for Victoria. So please review the following table and remove all the non-Victorian universities. Using that new table, imagine you are a higher education reform expert looking at the Victorian data. What strategies do you think the universities? could employ structurally through merger, acquisition, partnerships to improve the overall efficiency of the sector in the state of Victoria. Be as creative and imaginative as possible using what you already know about the relative strengths and weaknesses of these institutions okay so what we're going to do is we're going to so we've given it an intent um, like who the person is so you are a higher education reform expert you look at what strategies could they look to structurally through merger acquisition partnerships to improve the overall efficiency of the se efficiency of the sector and be creative and imaginative. So you want it to think outside the box and you also want it to look at what it already knows about these educators. So this has, you know, a lot of data on these universities and so it will be able to infer stuff itself. So let's run that. Interesting. Ugh. <laughs> I don't think this is going to happen. <coughs> Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Block learning models. Um, Deacon. Research Hub, Sustainable Rings, RMIT, Swinburne and Deakin. International Student Recruitment Alliances. There you go. So that's not a given. And it's probably not what I would have guessed. But it does actually make sense. Monash and Latrobe makes geographic sense. RMIT and Swinburne makes geographic sense. I would say if this was going to happen, they would probably have to divest all the TAFE stuff and just leave some good stuff and use the campuses, but I, I don't see that one happening. This one's really interesting. This I could see happening. Um, Deacon has done a lot around experience. Yeah. So as you can see, I've, I've taken some data out of a newspaper article and come up with a whole series of things about what might happen. But looking at the variables, um, you know, if we just asked it, could we see any other combinations? And what might be likely. Yeah, so Deacon and Fed, that definitely could make sense. Latrobe and Victoria, yeah. I think that could definitely make sense as well. Although they're not going to get the brand cross. Yeah. See, it's just guessing, but it gives you a way to scenario model. Yeah. This one geographically makes a bit more sense to me and probably more the vocational stuff. So you could get the feeder stuff from Vietnam through into Victoria University to strengthen them up um, and shift a lot of that stuff off to TAFE. And it would probably up RMIT's TAFE capability. Yeah, this, this is not going to happen. But yeah, you get the idea. You can just look at data and start to explore um, possibilities, which is really interesting. Check it out.